Hey guys, it's me, Teresa Craft and Mama ML. I am so excited to be coming with you with a very small short haul, and I kind of wanted to do um, a little bit of an update. I have got tons of emails through YouTube and also through my Facebook page um, asking where I've been, why I was away for three months, and I was so freaking like touched. I almost had like um, a breaking point where I kind of got teary eyed because I was just like, wow, like these people actually care and want to know where I've been and what I've been up to. So if you don't have me on Facebook, you probably wouldn't have known. Um, the last four months have been hectic. I won't go into too much detail. Um, we moved to Blenheim and it's a small community and we were looking to rent a place and we found a beautiful home and it was perfect. I had my own scrapbooking room. My girls had a beautiful backyard. Unfortunately, what we thought would be long term ended up right before Christmas, we got an eviction letter saying we had to move when we had 60 days. So our world was basically turned upside down. Um, something that we thought would be a home until we buy a home here or wherever we decide to buy a home um, turned out to not be true. So long story short, we basically um, sat down together, me and Jay, and we realized we didn't want to be in boxes and um, our Christmas for our girls not be a Christmas because that's not what Christmas is about. It's no Christmas tree and struggling and boxes everywhere. So we took it upon ourselves and um, we gave ourselves 30 days. So we gave our notice to our landlord before we even found a place. And we looked and looked and looked and we finally found um, a cute little house. Now, it is a lot smaller. We went from a five bedroom home to a two bedroom home. So this is where um, it got a little challenging trying to figure out would I scrapbook again? Would I be even doing videos again? Um, I really wanted my children to have a playroom, which there is a small basement in this townhouse, which is perfect for them. And um, I thought long and hard and I came to the conclusion that I wasn't going to be scrapbooking no more. And if I did, it would be um, working outside of boxes. But my children, oh, I don't want to cry, but they are amazing. And um, my husband and my kids knew how much, <clears throat> sorry, how much I love scrapbooking and how this was my passion. So they made it um, a mission to figure out how we could make the best of both worlds and Finally, I am set up and I am sharing the playroom with my girls and I feel guilty about it, but I am so extremely blessed and happy that I get to do this again. Um, and my girls get to play right beside me, just like at our old house. So we made it work. I went from a big room to um, a wall. But honestly, throughout this move, I realized um, I didn't need a room. I didn't need the big space. Um, I am very content and happy with the space that I have now. Um, I decluttered a lot realizing I had too much that I really didn't need. So I donated some to help um, some schools. And then I also sold some of my lots that I thought I could make a little bit of money. So I'm back and um, I won't go into too much more detail. But it's been a long three, four months. I am so excited. You guys have noticed I've been doing some process videos. And I wanted to let you guys know, I wanted to know how the lighting was here. Two weeks ago, I ended up rearranging the playroom because I felt like I needed more light. And in this basement, there is a huge window. So I wanted to know what it looks like right now, you guys. Like, do you find that it looks yellow or is the natural light the way to go? If so, I will try to do a lot of my processing videos and videos during the morning time when I'm off work or when my kids are at school or on a weekend in the morning. I really, from what I can see on the video, it actually looks really bright and nice. So I'm really excited about that. So there's my small update. I'm back. I'm excited. And I'm going to be bringing out more videos. I want to do some hauls coming up. Um, I was super excited. We went to Michael's on Sunday. And look what I found, you guys. I am dying. Anyone that watches my videos, you know I'm from Canada. Our scrapbooking, we don't get as cool things as the States people get. And now that our Target's closed, it's been a bummer. I'm so sad. So when I seen this at my Michael's, it was a hot buy pack. Now, normally a hot buy, you get those like, you get like the $8 packs. Well, this wasn't. This hot buy was $29.99, but then I used my 40% off coupon. So I think I got this pack for like $18. Now, 
I don't have any other embellishments with this, which I am dying to go get some. Um, I know the pink camera, she is based in Canada and I'm going to probably put an order in just to get like the ephemera pieces and a few of the pieces to go with this. But until then, I'll show you what I did. So here is the crepe paper. Now I'm sure many of you guys have seen this. I am obsessed. Like I'm not a fan of this one, but I've seen people use this on their layouts and it looked really, really cool. Um, very, very pretty. There's some watercoloring looks, your traditional pinks, reds, and like teals and peach. I love that one. It reminds me of pink chips. This is cool if you could cut these out and kind of, I seen someone do a heart layout with, but it was like a geometric heart. So I'm, I'm going to try something with that. Love this one. I've seen a few people do some layouts with that. So hello, I'm a sucker for this one. <laughs> I love this one. Um, so really, really, really pretty. Um, now, I know this collection is not new. Well, it's new, but not. I've seen everyone post it. So um, I won't go too much into detail, but I love this. But what I wanted to do was, in this in this book, um, there was a pa two pages that were, um, looked like that. They were cut apart. So I ended up taking my trimmer and I just cut them all. So you got like some three by threes, some tags to do some layering. Um... There's a couple like little, little ephemera pieces. So it's kind of like ephemera pieces, but I just cut them out of that paper. So I thought this would be great for now, just so I can use this collection until I'm able to get a couple more things. So I got that and then call me freaking crazy. But my friend Danielle Brown, who actually just started a YouTube channel. So definitely go check her out. Um, I will um, see if I can put the link down below. She is new to YouTube, but she's not new to the YouTube world. She's been doing scrapbooking videos. She was on design teams, blah, blah, blah. So definitely go check her out. Um, so I seen her do a layout and she fussy cut out some of these hearts. So I have two of them. So the other one's still in here, but this one, I cut out half the paper and I literally spent like, <laughs> I don't know how long it took me. And I cut a bunch of these hearts out and um, I want to try and do a layout similar to her. She did one that was so beautiful. And these hearts were everywhere. So I was inspired by that to give those a cut and try them on my layout. And then even as like little embellishments, it'd be cute to pop dot that on and put it on your page or whatever. So I'll put that aside. Now the next thing that I got you guys, I'm super excited about, but I am going to be watching tons of videos how to do stuff. I got my first set of gesso. Now, I already opened this and because um, I wanted to see what like the texture was because I'm like, what is this? And um, it's cool. It's like just like a primer, I guess. I've seen Missy Whitten use it and um, tons of people, but I'm going to keep watching videos on how to, oh geez, now I can't even close. Oh, there we go. How to use it because I'm still learning and I'm new to all this, but I did my first um, somewhat mixed media layout. And I've had a really good response on it. So I'm going to try my best to bring, do some more to um, make my layouts different. I feel like I'm always scrapbooking the same. So I think this will help me figure out how to do some more mixed media layouts. So on top of that, I also got, now I already opened these two because my daughter wanted to see them. Now it, I got my first set of um, gelatos. I'm so excited. So Normally these are always so expensive, but actually this was on clearance for $2.99 at Michael's. And then these were on sale for $7.49. Um, and then there was other ones that were like $3.99, $2.99, but I just wanted to get one pack to start. Um, so I got this one. It has like a peachy, a pink, a red, and a purple. And I haven't tried these out yet, so I am excited to try them out. I am going to watch some videos to see kind of what I do. Um... It also came with this little brush. So I'm guessing this is the brush that um, you move it around with or something. <laughs> That's so not even like what it's probably for. But I'm going to learn. And then it also came with like, um, I'd say like a two by two stamp. I just, I'll be honest with you, I tossed it out. It just wasn't my style and I know I won't use it. Um, so I just tossed it out. I didn't think I could, I guess I could have kept it and gave it to someone. But I wasn't thinking and um, the garbage man is coming today. So I apologize. <laughs> um, so this is, it was just a small haul. I think it was like 30 bucks or whatever for the paper and for the gelatos and the medium or gesso. So 
I just wanted to share that quickly. Um, I am going to be on the hunt. Um, our local scrapbooking store is hopefully ordering me the bloom from Maggie Holmes. So I'm going to be a little bit behind because I see everyone else already getting that. But um, I'm excited about that. I want to get some pieces to go with this as well. And there was one other collection. What was it? I wasn't a fan of a lot of them this year, though, for some reason. I forget which other one that I liked. I think it was, um, don't quote me, but I think it's Pink Paisley Say La Vie. I think that's the one that I wanted to, I think. I'm going to have to double check on that. But thank you guys so much for watching my haul, for listening to my update. And let me know again about the lighting. Does this look nice? Like, I'm right beside the window and I actually have the blinds facing down. But um, I can make it like... Like, I don't know if it's brighter now. No, not to me. It doesn't look brighter. I think like right here, like when I have the blind facing down a little bit, so the light shines. But let me know. It was so nice to talk a little bit to you guys. And I hope you guys are having a great week. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.